What's going on, Mobile Gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys how to play some Super Mario World on your Super Nintendo, on your Odin 2. So let's jump in and jump on Yoshi's back. Alright, Mobile Gamers, so we're going to be playing some Super Nintendo on our Odin 2. First thing we're going to do is go to the Google Play Store. We're going to type in SNES, just like so. And we're going to look for the one that says SNES X EX Plus. We're going to install that. Now, while that's installing, we're going to go to our folders, and I'm going to show you my file folders that I have set up. So I have an SNES folder that has games in it, and I have another one for saves. So to understand what save is what, the SRM save is your default save file for the actual game itself. So when you save inside the game, that's the save file. When you do save states, that's your FRZ file. So I have different save state files here, and technically I could just get rid of these, honestly. There's nothing really I need to actually load up my save states, but I'm just going to delete the other two that don't need to be there. So I'm going to keep that one. That's just my basic save state. Now for SNEX 9X Plus, the first thing we're going to do is click on open content, select file location, browse for folder. We're going to go to our folder of choice where mine is, is in my SNES games and click use this folder, click allow. We're going to go back. We're going to go back again. Keep clicking back. Don't exit the app like I just did. And now we're going to go down to on-screen input. Now we're going to click on use virtual gamepad. We're going to set that to off. We're going to go all the way down to UI button group. Now open menu. I'm going to turn this to off. Toggle fast forward. I'm going to turn this to off as well because we're going to be using our buttons for this. I don't like to see any on-screen buttons. Now show gamepad if screen is touched. Click that to off as well and click back. Key gamepad input setup. Now we're going to click on that. We're going to go down to Odin controller, if it's your Xbox controller, select your Xbox controller. Go to Odin controller, now go to gamepad. Now go down and you can select all your gamepad buttons here, though, however you want. I like my B to actually be my B, my A to be my A, my Y to be my actual Y, and my X to be my X. And that's how I like to set it up. Hotkeys, this is your in emulation actions. So our back button for opening the menu is already this one right here. For opening content, you can click on a button if you want to. Save states, I like to use my L2. Load states, my R2. My fast forward, so toggle fast forward on and off. And if you already have a button set up for something, then you can't use that button at all. So click on my M1 button on the back instead. And that's about it. Now you can save this as a profile if you want to. So if you want to back up your profile for any reason, then you can. And... As you can see here, our profile name is just custom one. You don't need to really do anything other than that. Now let's go back. Let's go back again. Let's go to options. Now we're going to change our file paths for our save folder. So click on file paths. I'm going to click on saves, click select folder, click games at the top, click browse this folder, go to SNES, go to saves, click use this folder. Now our saves are going to automatically load up. Now our screenshots are going to save in that saves folder as well, unless you make another folder. So if we go to screenshots, select the folder, click select file location, click browse for folder, go to SNES, create a folder and name it screenshots. Just like so. Click done, click use this folder, click allow. Now all your screenshots are just going to save in that folder. Click back. Now we're going to go to video. We're going to go down to image effect. So scale 2x, leaving the image effect at linear, is going to smooth out the image a bit. Prescale 4x is going to make the game just pop. It's going to make it look good. Aspect ratio, this is all at the preference. Again, if you want to fill the display to make it fill the whole screen, then go ahead and do so or turn it back to 4x3. I like to fill the display, and it looks good to me. Now, we're going to open the content. We're going to open up Super Mario World. And I'm going to go back. So I clicked on the back button on my device. And I'm going to show you this little icon on the top right hand side. Now, if we click on that icon, we can close out our menu. So if you want to just use the touch for this, you can. Otherwise, I like to use this key adapter. So this key adapter, I already have a button set up up there. I'm going to grab this little button right here. And I'm going to set it to my M2. And that's why I wasn't able to use my M2 for anything. Now, go to settings and toggle this opacity bar to however you want. I like to have it all the way down. I don't like to see anything on my screen. Click check. Now I can use that M2 button to close that menu out when I'm in my menu. So as you can see, click back, click back. So the reason why I do that is because I accidentally sometimes leave a game if I click back too many times when this little menu pops up because I'm like, uh, yes, no, close menu, close menu. Okay. So that's why I showed you that just so that you don't accidentally leave your game. 
by mistake in the future. Now, loading up your save states. I have a button for loading up my save states, but I can go to manual save states, click on this and click load the state, click yes, and it'll load that state. Now you might notice some graphic issues with this. So the first thing we're gonna do is click back, click back again, click back again. Go to options, go to video, click on pre-scale again, and it'll actually fix that graphic issue and then it makes the game look good. As you can see, the game looks perfectly fine and looks great to me. So if you want to see what I was talking about with it smoothing out the graphics, I'm just going to run away from that guy for a second there and go down to image effect, go to scale 2x with linear turned on. As you can see, this graphics are kind of smoothed out a little bit and I'm not really a big fan of that, but that's up to preference again. So if you want to do that, go ahead. Now, Going back to pre-scaled 4X, I think this looks amazing and it really makes the game pop and looks good on our Odin 2. That's about it. That's all you really need to know about playing Super Nintendo. There's not much more to actually share about this because Super Nintendo is probably one of the easier ones with all the features that it has to set up for a lot of devices in 2023. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time as we set up our Odin 2 with this entire playlist. Subscribe, like, share, comment, because it helps the algorithm. Or maybe sign up for a membership and get some bonuses, because I have a membership. Check it out. Bye-bye!